Hey folks, this is Josh. Welcome to another video. Today I will not be shooting any video commercial, but I will be doing food photography. I'll show you my entire setup and my approach to how I light a subject and take a snap. It's going to be very interesting, so stick with me. And uh, recently I watched again this movie called Joker, and I'm so obsessed with the look. Right? It looks so beautiful. Look at this frame. Look how beautiful the teal and amber work together, right? It complements each other and looks so amazing and beautiful. So I was wondering, what if I bring this look to my food photography, right? Will I be able to achieve it? I have no clue. Maybe not. But why shouldn't we try, right? So let's do it together today. <music> Here we are at the set. So to bring the Joker movie look, I wanted to shoot something orange. So I ended up choosing orange mocktail as my subject. Uh, don't ask me for the recipe. It's just a store-bought orange juice, but styled as a mocktail. Uh, I use orange slices and rosemary to style it. And I also use this fake eyes. Uh, I bought this from a prop store called uh, Perfect prop studio there in Instagram. This is not the regular acrylic ice cubes that you see, but it feels more like a silicon. So I thought I'll test this out. For camera, I'm using a Nikon Z6 and this is being tethered to my MacBook Pro and I'm using Capture One as my tethering application. And for the backdrop, I'm using a teal color. And for the surface, I'm using a dark green foam board. Um, the mocktail is placed at the corner of the surface so that it creates a leading line you know, and bringing the attention of the audience towards a, a mocktail. That's a composition technique that I usually use. And for the lights, I have a Godox SK400 Mark II. It's an old stove, but still usable. And um, so let's take a shot and see how the setup looks. A small tip for you folks. Even before you start any session, right? Make sure that your slate is clean. Uh, what I mean by that is, the only light source that is lighting up your subject should be the strobe or flash that you're using. No other external light should be lighting up your subject or affecting your subject. Uh, and how do you find out? You turn off your flashes, take a snap. If the image turns out to be black in color, you're good to go. In case if you see any other light lighting your subject, you change your camera setting a little bit to get rid of it. Okay? Doing so, you'll get a clean light. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off my flash. I'll take a snap. And I should be seeing a black screen here. Yeah, that's black. So we know that there is no light leak or any other light is affecting the subject. Now we can turn on a flash and take a snap and see how it looks. All right. So we have beautifully lit mocktail here. But as you can see, um, there is a lot of light leaking in the background. So we'll have to cut that down. Um, I think I'll be using a flag, you know, black flag to cut the light uh, spilling onto the backdrop. So let's cut that out. You can see I have placed a flag um, to cut the light that is spilling onto our backdrop. Now let's take a shot and see how it looks. It looks much better. I was just thinking, what if if I use another diffusion for the softbox and uh, will it make it more softer? We'll see that. As you can see, I've added another diffusion layer to the softbox. Let's take a snap and see how it looks now. Do you see the difference? You can see the specular highlights you know, on the rim of the glass. It's much softer now. I think it goes well with the theme that we're going after. If you look at the reference image on the screen, you can see the subject is lit with a teal light. Though we have a teal backdrop, uh, I think the subject is still lit with a daylight. Uh, I was thinking, um, what if, if I change the teal light to teal, right? So what I'm going to do now is, um, I'm going to use these glass papers, right? I have a blue and a green. Uh, these are not recommended to use as a gel, but since I'm not using the modeling lamp in the straw, I think we are safe to go. Uh, so as per the color theory, if you mix blue and green, you get teal. So I'll be combining these two sheets and I'll be covering this flash or the strobe uh, with this gel. Right, and I'm hoping that we'll get a teal light. You can see I've covered the strobe with uh, those gel papers now. Uh, let's take a shot and see how it looks. 
okay so this is definitely um, well under exposed um, since we uh, covered the strobe with those gels i think we'll have to uh, crank up the power to at least two stops now let me do that all right a test and let me take another shot great so this looks really nice uh, we have those steel light coming in and uh, it looks really nice i think we are getting closer now um but you can see that the green and the orange is lost a little um i think um, maybe i can give a little bit of backlight to give it a pop for the green and orange uh, maybe maybe a snoot i think will work let's do that and see so i've set the snoot there just behind the subject you may not be able to see that on the frame because it's just behind the soft box here and i've set it in an angle that the light slides over the mocktail glass and you know i hope it will give a little bit of you know dimension and color to the orange and the uh, you know the rosemary that we have uh, let's take a shot and see how it looks it makes a lot of difference um so what you see on the screen is without the snoot and now with the snoot um do you see the difference so the snoot actually you know brings a lot of details within the orange slice and also the rosemary that we have i really like it uh, the only thing that is missing now is the warm light uh, if you see the reference image you see a warm light that is coming in right so that is missing uh, maybe i'll add that warm light and see how it you know uh, turns this image into so as you can see i've added another snoot uh, with an yellow gel um hopefully this will bring up the warmth uh, to the subject um not sure whether this will work but let's see how it is actually i don't see much of a difference uh i mean a little bit of more detail on the orange slices but other than that i don't see i know much of a difference or the warmth since the subject is also in orange color i don't uh, see more warm light coming in or you know it's visible to our eye um so maybe i think i'll i'll ignore that i'll take it out and um let me style this quickly a little more and then let's take the final shot here we are at the final stage so i've changed the styling a little bit so i added some orange slices and rosemary in the sides uh, but after i added those props i kind of felt the snoot that we added at last right it actually worked it's it helped us to like the props a little bit so i kept it uh, as is so what i'm going to do now i'm going to spray some water and i'm going to take the shot let's see how it comes all right that's a wrap i think after a little bit of color grading this is how the image looks like So what do you think did we achieve the look yes no put that in the comment section below i will meet you in the next video until then bye bye